Hi, I'm Bill Osborne, Chef de Cuisine America Restaurant at Trump International Hotel and Tower Toronto. Uh, today we're going to be making our Grandview Farms Wagyu Beef Slider. Uh, I'm going to show you how simple it is to do at home using ingredients you can find in your local supermarket. Uh, first step, we're going to make our pimento cheese mix. Which you'll find it'll add a, a spicy tang and uh, melt beautifully onto our burgers. Okay, first we're going to take our uh, orange cheddar and our uh, white cheddar here, uh, mixing equal parts in the bowl. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of diced uh, pimento pepper straight in there as well. Um, I need a little dollop of mayonnaise, just uh, enough to bind this all together. Uh, we're going to season it with a little bit of uh, Tabasco and Worcestershire. And that's going to be about it. So get the Worcestershire shine in there. And we're just going to stir this nicely to combine. Okay, now uh, once we're done that, we're going to move on to step two, which is our bourbon Thousand Island dressing. Uh, we're going to mix uh, mayonnaise, ketchup, capers, gherkins, and our bourbon uh, all together. Leave that in the fridge, let it stand overnight, let the flavors develop. This will give your burger personality. Okay, for our third ingredient, we have our uh, green tomato chutney. Uh, we make this in-house at the restaurant, uh, but you can pick it up at your favorite supermarket. Okay, we're uh, now ready for step four. We're gonna season and sear our sliders. All right, now it's time to uh, season our sliders. Uh, gonna season generously with uh, salt and pepper. Uh, we use a pepper mix in-house. Um, basically, every kind of pepper, uh, red, green, black, uh, all toasted and uh, blended together. All right, so uh, now we're ready to sear our sliders. Uh, gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil, make sure they don't stick. Um, one thing to uh, check here is make sure that your pan is hot enough. Should hear a nice uh, gentle sizzle when you go into the pan. Just like that. Alright, so uh, I sear these for about two and a half minutes per side. Uh, flip them once you see a nice golden brown color starting on the bottom. Nice. So uh, after uh, about a minute on the other side, uh, we're going to put our uh, pimento cheese mix on top, just like that. Um, and then we're ready for the oven. Last thing we're going to do before we put this together, uh, just a little sliced uh, iceberg lettuce and Napa cabbage. Uh, we use iceberg because it's uh, so nice and fresh, where the Napa cabbage is going to add a real beautiful uh, crunch to the whole, the whole burger. Okay, uh, our burgers have been in the oven for about a minute and a half now. Uh, cheese should be beautifully melted. Uh, I'm going to go grab them now and uh, let's put this all together. Um, so, we're just going to cut open our uh, little slider buns here. We're going to put our uh, green tomato chutney right on the base here. Top that with uh, one of our dill pickles. Uh, on top goes the little mini slider. Looks good. Uh, then we top that with uh, just a little bit of our lettuce blend that we cut earlier. And our uh, Thousand Island dressing. All 
All right, there we have it, our uh, Wagyu beef sliders, uh, simply prepared for uh, home entertaining. Uh, if you like the full-size version, come by America Restaurant at Trump International Hotel and Tower Toronto. Look forward to seeing you there.